Hi everybody, today we will learn how to use the MioWare muscle sensor and control a servo motor. So with this sensor you can control a robotic hand, or you can use your muscles to control anything. Using our muscles to control things is the way that most of us are accustomed to doing it. This sensor all-in-one electromyography EMG sensor from Advancer Technologies. The MioWare board measures the filtered electrical activity of a muscle, and provides volt output depending on the amount of activity in the selected muscle. MioWare is the latest version of the muscle sensor and has a wearable design that allows you to connect your biomedical pads directly to the board. This board also features a number of new features, including a single supply voltage from 3.1 to 5, indicator LED and an on-off switch required hardwares for this tutorial. You can find the list of required hardware in the video description. Connections. We will use the nano board in this video but this muscle sensor is compatible with most development boards. location of the sensor and electrodes. There are many muscles that you can using this sensor. The sensor should always be placed along the length of the muscle. After determining which muscle group you want to target, for example bicep, forearm, calf, clean the skin thoroughly. The first electrode closest to the wire will be placed at the middle of the muscle. The second electrode will be placed at the end of the muscle. The third electrode with the black wire will be placed away from the muscle source code to read the sensor value. This sensor provides an analog signal that can be read by the analog input on your microcontrol, just like many of the common sensors you might use. Simply open up Arduino ID and go to File, Examples, Basics, Analog Read Serial. Then upload this code to your board. Open up the serial monitor in Arduino and make a fist. When you flexed the muscle, the values increase, and when released they will decrease. Source code to move servo motor according to sensor value. You can find the source code link in the video descriptions. There are explanations in the code so you can understand the code better. Thanks for watching. You can subscribe for support.